was a possibility. I don't know if it's good though. And the car is doing his best. His king is around 14 seconds for Ali Reza. There's a check. How, wait, when's the 50 move roll? You throw in a pawn move at some point. Yeah, he will play G4, I think, at some point. And yeah, there it is. There, it, there is. it is. He throws it in. He's up 10, more than 10 seconds. This is he. Oh, Bishop shooting. B4. Oh, oh, yeah, Bishop B4 at that moment. And now, and now he plays it. Oh, but look at that move. Throwing in the check just to gain some time. This is actually expert bullet. Oh, oh. the rocks! The rocks! Oh, and he had the match. He had the tie, but he lost his rookie. He's losing all of his pawns. He just has to take the pawn. That's it. That's the match. That's it. Hikaru, you, you can't pre-move there. Oh, he had that game. And Ali Reza Faruja for the second day in a row. He wins because of this sneaky little take something pre-move, winning the game. And that is that Ali Reza Faruja smiles. He works his way to the finals of the Bullet Chess Championship. And he will face... Andrew Tang. That wasn't even the final. We <laughs> still have a whole other match. I feel like that was the final. And oh my goodness, I can't believe it. To Ali Reza's credit, that was not a dirty move. He played Rook C2, protected by his king. He simply wanted to trade. So that wasn't that wasn't like any of the other moves we've seen from Ali Reza, but it worked out just the same. Hikaru should not be pre-moving there. Why? He had such a time lead, Robert. He just needed to put his rook safe and then pre-move the king, and leaving his rook exposed there, my goodness, he gets punished for it. We will not see Hikaru Nakamura in the finals, and Ali Reza, in dramatic fashion, reminds us that semifinals can be exciting too, Robert. 